getting live for the Twix Poke Cake. Um, it's a bit of a tongue twister that one. I have got the cake out of the oven. It's um, been cooling for about 10 to 15 minutes. So it's still warm, but now's the time I'm going to poke the holes and then add the caramel sauce so it gets time to get into the cake while it's still nice and warm and make it all unctuous inside. So we're just gonna use a wooden spoon, just a, a normal wooden spoon with a round end. And you're gonna make uh, almost like a grid pattern of holes with the, with the end. You don't want to go all the way through. So you probably just want to go about a centimeter, a centimeter and a half in. Um, because if you go all the way through when you cut it, you're gonna lose the caramel that comes out the bottom of it and it's just gonna seep away. We wanna keep it inside the cake. Uh, so next thing to do is to pour this, drizzle it over the top. really properly cool um, and like I say the, the caramel here now will it'll be really nice and moist and warm inside that cake with that caramel going into those holes it'll really sort of just go <laughs> suck it all up um, so we want to leave this to cool before we put on the whipped cream topping which we'll do sort of it's going to need a, a good hour or so um, to completely cool down before we do that but that's how you put together your food cake. 